Hello friends, today we'll learn about light and shadows. On your way to your friend's home, you can see so many things around you. During the day, you get a sufficient amount of light from the sun, which allows you to see the objects clearly. But when you enter a dark room, you'll not be able to see the objects around you because there's no light present there. You can see things in dark only when you switch on the light. Light is one of the most important things that is required to see objects around us. It's a form of energy made of photons, which is the basic unit of all light. Light acts like both a wave and a particle. Depending on the kind of matter it comes into contact with, light will act differently. Transparent objects. You're able to see the fish clearly through the glass aquarium as it's allowing light to pass through it, so it's transparent. Water and clear glass are examples of transparent objects. Opaque objects. See this brick wall? It does not allow light to pass through. This is an opaque object. Examples are brick and wood. Translucent object. An object that is cloudy and only allows part of the light to pass through is called a translucent object. For example, a frosted window panel. Light moves at the fastest known speed. Nothing moves faster than the speed of light in the universe. Ooh, you are walking around in the park on a sunny day, but did you notice? You aren't alone, buddy. It seems that everywhere you go, something is following you. Don't be afraid. You aren't being chased by a monster. It's just your shadow. <laughs> A shadow is the dark shape made when some object blocks the light. You must have a source of light in order to have shadows. Any object non-living or living that can block light can cast shadows. Stand in the way of a beam of light from a torch. Ask your friend to stand behind you and spot the beam of light. Your friend will see no light since your body did not allow it to pass the light. Whenever light is not able to go through an object, it creates a dark area around the particular object. This part where the light cannot reach is called a shadow. Opaque objects build clear in dark shadows. This is how shadows are made. You can have many numbers of shadows depending on the number of light sources. Shadows keep changing throughout the day. They're longest in the early morning and in the late afternoon. At noon, when the sun is directly overhead, shadow is tiny, or there's no shadow. The position of the sun changes throughout the day, which changes the angle at which the sun's rays fall on the ground. This is why you see different sizes and shapes of shadows. Show the chart to your friends. In the morning, your shadow will be long. At noon, it was small. And in the late afternoon, it's long again. Now, you know a lot about light and shadow. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.